Hello, and thank you for watching this Hexagon Geospatial eTraining module using the ERDAS Imagine Swipe Tool. With multiple layers loaded in a viewer, the Swipe Tool allows you to see all layers in the viewer by swiping the top layers out of the way. Using the multi-layer capabilities, you can choose which layers are visible regardless of the layer stacking order. In this eTraining module, we'll see how to load image and vector data and how to use the Swipe Tool, including multi-layer functionality and automation. I'll start by loading the first image in the viewer. From the Home tab, I'll select File, Open, Raster Layer, and select ortho2006.img. Now I'll add a second layer. Again, I'll select File, Open, Raster Layer to open the dialog box. This time, I'm looking for an ECW file and will need to change the file of type to see it. I'll select ortho2009.ecw and click OK. I'll zoom into the image to get a better view. In the Contents pane, I can use the checkbox next to the Ortho 2009 layer to toggle the image on and off. By doing this, I turn off the image display and can see what is underneath the top layer. I can easily see changes that have taken place between 2006 and 2009. This method of turning an image on and off using the Contents pane will work well when only two layers are displayed and the top image can be easily removed to see what's underneath it. There are cases, however, when I'd like to see additional information. Let's see an example and explore more control using the Swipe Tool. I can open the Swipe Tool in one of two ways. I can right-click within the viewer and select Swipe, or I select the Swipe Tool from the View group on the Home tab. Both options will open the Transition tab along the ribbon. I can easily swipe the two images by using the slider bar above Transition Extent. You'll notice that Blend and Flicker are also options within the Transition tab. Either can be activated by clicking the respective buttons on the transition type group. As I move the slider to the right, the top image is slowly pulled to reveal its full extent. When I slide to the left, the top image is pulled back, revealing the image underneath it. The current settings pull the image from left to right. I also have top to bottom options. For now, I'll put it back to the original settings. To change the order of the layers in the viewer, I can turn off the layer control and view the contents pane. In this pane, I can drag and drop the bottom layer to the top. I'll reactivate the layer control to see tabs for both the contents and transition panes. I could also use this tab to access the contents pane and reorder my layers. Now we'll add a third layer, a vector layer, to the viewer. I'll select File, Open, Vector Layer, select LandParcels.shp, and click OK. I can now use the controls within the transition pane to display and swipe the layers to my preference. There are four columns in the transition pane, L, I, W, and S. L, locking, locks the status of an image. This will apply when using the multi-layer mode to run a movie. I, or invisible, turns the image off and it will not be seen in the viewer. W, or working, defines an image that will be affected by the swipe tool and will move with the slider bar. There must always be at least one defined working layer. The bottom layer cannot be the working layer since there's nothing beneath it to display. S, or static, allows the layer to be visible but remains unaffected by the swipe status. I'll set ortho2006.img as the working layer and landparcels.shp to static. This allows me to see the parcel boundaries while swiping between the two images. Finally, let's look at the multi layer mode. Activating this button also activates the Automatic Group, a number of tools that allow you to play the swipe function automatically as a movie. On the bottom right of this group, you have three options for how the movie will play, Loop, Swing, and Stop at End. Each option plays through the layers differently. Swing will pull each layer back, starting at the top of the stack and moving to the bottom. Once the bottom working layer is removed, the software will replace each layer starting from the bottom and working back to the top. Stop at End will begin at the topmost working layer, pull each layer back, working to the bottom of the stack, and stop. I'll select Loop and click Play. Loop will pull each layer back in one direction from the first working layer through all layers and cycle back through the top and continue until the user stops the movie. That's what we see here. If I want to speed up the transitions, I can use the thumb wheel above the play buttons to make the transitions faster or slower according to my needs. When done with the movie, I'll click Stop. I can now close the Transition tab. 
Thank you for watching this e-training module from Hexagon Geospatial. For more e-training, visit hexagongeospatial.com/e-training. Thank <laughs> you.